Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new features and changes included on the Windows 10 build 16.199. This test preview of Windows 10 is part of the fall Kratos update expected to release in September 2017. So let's have a closer look at the most worthy changes on this build. Let me just show you that in the start menu. Uh, now when you right click uh, an app or a light tile, when you go to the more sub menu, now you're going to see that each item has an icon. As you can see that better represents uh, each option. And let me just show you right now. Let me see if uh, the uh, mail app shows you the same thing. As you can see now you have a new icon next to each of the items. And that's pretty much what's going on with the uh, start menu. If you use an Android phone, Cortana now shows incoming notifications. Let me just show you really quick how this looks like. So now if you uh, have installed Cortana on your Android phone and configured to send notifications to your Windows PC, you will get this type of uh, uh, toast notifications with two buttons, as you can see right here on the bottom. Uh, one to text back or you can even decline the call. Also, Microsoft recently introduced the uh, My People feature that allows you to pin uh, contacts to the taskbar to quickly send messages and files to other people. And on this bill, My People adds support for animated emoji that, uh, that will pop up over the uh, uh, taskbar if one of the uh, pin contacts sends you a emoji through Skype. Uh, it doesn't work on my installation right now, but let me just show you a screenshot from Microsoft that shows you how the uh, animated emoji looks like when somebody sends you one through Skype. Also, uh, the uh, My People feature now features uh, notification badges, which means that when contacts ping to the taskbar, now will display a counter, as you can see right here, uh, that gives you a glance of, of unseen messages. In addition to these new additions, Windows 10 build 16.199 also make, uh, makes it easier to uh, share files with uh, with my people. So let's say that you want to send a picture or any kind of image to uh, to a contact pin on the taskbar. So you can simply now drag and drop the uh, file to the contact and that will automatically create an email attachment that you can just simply send to that person. Just click send. And that's all there is to it. Another way that you can do this now, it's by selecting the image that you want to send and simply click the uh, uh, share button. And you will now see that on the share experience, you can pick one of the uh, uh, one of your contacts and you can even click the uh, more people to access to all of your contacts. So I'm just going to click my name right here and the experience should be exactly the same as you can see right now. It will uh, create an email attachment and I simply click send and that's all there is to it. Now let's just jump into the uh, settings up because there are quite a few new improvements on that experience. On the settings app, now we're going to get tips and video to help better understand the settings. Uh, you don't see them yet everywhere, but if we go to system, multitasking, now you're going to see the video on the right that you can click and play. And we also see the uh, uh, a tip right here at the bottom of the video. Let me just show you really quick that I can click and play the video. And you can also pull the screen. Here are three tips it. to help you get things done. And when you're working you with can a just pause app. it if you don't want to watch it anymore. All right, so on on a storage, a storage sense now has been improved. So if we go to uh, the settings for this feature, now we're going to see a new uh, delete files in my download folders that hasn't changed for over 30 days. And you can turn that on and off. That will help you to uh, free up a space uh, by deleting uh, temporary files that you downloaded to the uh, downloads folder and in these options it's off by default so you have to come manually and enable it on windows 10 build 16199 microsoft is also updating the about page and as you can see now we get some uh, health related information about your system including 
uh, antivirus firewall uh, performance and app control status uh, using the uh, Windows Defender Security Center. And now we're also going to see that uh, the about page is uh, dividing the uh, uh, device specifications and Windows specifications in two different sections. As you can see right here, the device specification will give you an overview of the hardware on your computer and you also get the uh, uh, button to rename your PC. And on Windows specifications, now you can see that uh, the edition of Windows you're using, uh, the version number and the build that you currently have installed on your computer. Now let's jump into the uh, network and internet. Uh, nothing huge is happening on this section, but if we go to data usage and then go to overview, now you're going to see that we get a reset uh, usage stats, uh, which allows you to uh, reset all the stats for, uh, for all your apps. Okay, now let's go to home and jump into personalization. When we go into the taskbar at the bottom of the page, uh, we're going to see the uh, people section that now includes uh, three options instead of one that we seen in previous bill. So now uh, we're going to see an option uh, that is called show shoulder taps and play a sound when a shoulder tap arrives. So if you need to uh, disable uh, the uh, my people feature or uh, enable or disable some of the feature, you can come to the uh, taskbar and just scroll down and you can do this on the uh, people uh, section right here. So now let's go to uh, gaming. On the uh, broadcasting page now includes a new option that is called per app audio and basically it allows you to broadcast using the audio from the game and not from the entire system. We also are going to see a new uh, game monitor page on bill 16199, but Microsoft has confirmed that this is just a, a test page that it might include new features on the future, but not right now. Right now, anything you see here doesn't do anything. So, and that's pretty much what's new with the uh, settings up for Windows 10 build 16.199 and also that's pretty much everything that's new with the uh, Windows 10 build 16.199 remember to like the video share it and leave your comments and I just hope this video was informative for you and I do thank you for viewing